Hello, beautiful people. I hope you're having an amazing day. You are a star. Don't let anybody dim your light. We are back with another YouTube video. Video. It's been such a long time since we've done one of these, and I'm very excited to share with you, okay, the five pillars, the five P's, the five P pillars, okay, that's going to give you big D energy, okay, it's going to extend your P energy, right? I can tell you from my own experience, okay, after dating for so long with many different women, okay, I've gone through many different relationships, and I found the formula to give you that big D energy, especially if you're trying to attract that beautiful person, I guarantee you this is going to work. Apply this into your life and you're going to see, you're going to magnetize a lot more women, okay, especially when you embody these, okay, in no particular order, but if you can integrate these into your life, embody these into your life, you're going to show up as a masculine figure, okay, in her life, it's going to, it's going to encourage her to be more feminine, okay, it's going to encourage her to be more submissive okay not in a negative way a lot of women think being submissive is negative no it just means she's gonna trust in your lead she's gonna trust in your vision so let's get it underway before we get started make sure you add us on the socials okay we've got instagram and snapchat you can ask me questions there and for funny videos okay check out the tiktok daniel j allen and for coaching guides and program, check out danieljohnallen.com. I've got a eight week program coming up to help you level up your life, okay? Through mindset, through nutrition, and through your physical body, okay? Through fitness, okay? Let's get this underway. What are the five pillars, okay? The five pillars that she cannot resist. The most powerful masculine traits that women desire in men. Let's go. So. There are five. The first one, the first one, you guys, is presence. Okay, your presence. How are you showing up in the world? How are you sharing your energy? How are you being confident in your own life? Women can't get enough of a man who's confident. You don't even have to be the most successful person. You don't even have to have the most money. But if you've got a bit of charisma, if you are showing up with style, if you are showing up believing in yourself man that, that's just gonna that's just gonna it's gonna help her trust in you because she can see that you know what no matter what's happening out there you still got you and you believe in yourself so when, you, when i talk about presence it doesn't mean <clears throat> it does not mean you have to be so arrogant and so out there right it just means that when you enter the room she knows you're there right People know you're here without you don't even have to say anything right being present in the way that you know that aligns with you don't try so hard to be someone else don't try hard to make up for your insecurities no just be there be absolutely in the moment okay be your authentic self okay and don't overthink what it is that you desire don't overthink okay your goals and you know your ambitions and things like this just show up be present stand tall be confident in who you are what you're about okay this women love women love this because it just shows that you know you got you at the end of the day and you know you're not shying away you're not caving in and you know being quiet like a little mouse there's nothing wrong with being quiet and introverted right but how does she know you're here how does she know that how does she know that you are dominating your own life right that's the first one your presence women love a man with a lot of presence all right a lot of character a lot of charisma right second one you guys really big one i think it's probably one of the most important ones is your purpose what is your purpose what are you about what have you come here to do what are you what are you about what is your mission right what are you trying to accomplish for me it's trying to get as connected as many people show a lot of support okay and help them level up that's my thing just to help people level up make them question themselves make them believe in themselves right like i believe in you it's to help them level up get that confidence boost right get that get that fire going again right women love men with purpose right instead of guys who just sitting on the couch not doing their own thing right just working for a company 
right? You can still be, have a purpose and work for a company, but what is your bigger vision? Right? What what are you trying to accomplish? What what legacy are you leaving? Right? What are you, what are you doing for your community, for your family, for planet Earth? Right? It doesn't have to be a huge thing. It could just be as simple as having a little workshop, right? Running circles, running gatherings, right? <clears throat> it doesn't have to be messy, but when you have a purpose, it shows to her that you have a sense of direction. It shows that you are building something. It shows that you've got this masculine energy of progressing, right? Of evolving, of getting better, of improving yourself. Keep keeping yourself busy from and staying away from trouble, right? Instead of throwing your life away and feeling sorry for yourself, feeling feeling really uh, <clears throat> down about where you're going, that oh my god, this all doesn't matter, right? Yeah, yeah, this life doesn't matter, but you create the matter, you create the purpose in your own life, right? Women love men of purpose, men of mission, men in uniform, men who have a sense of direction because they don't want to follow a lusty, they don't want to be with a guy who's uh, quite unsure, quite uncertain, right? I don't know if I want this, and it's like, no, this really throws women off, ladies. If you're watching this, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Do you agree? Do you really, do you really, does it really irk you to have a guy who's indecisive? He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, right? I've heard this time and time again. Women do not like this. Women do not like a man who's indecisive. They love a man with a sense of direction. All right, so we've got presence. We've got purpose, right? What else have we got? We have plan. Right, plan is another big one, right? So plan, similar to the last one, right? When you have a plan, right? When you show up to a date with a plan, when you show up, okay, to your woman, to the woman around you with a plan to help build, to help create, to help, you know, change the moment, change the scene, right? This shows, again, you have a sense of direction. When you, when you don't have a plan and you just, going with the flow when you're just uh, living in the moment right there's nothing wrong with living in the moment but when you have no sense of again direction this really shows women that you lack decision making skills right you lack confidence in where you're going right so plan is a huge one Be having a plan is massive because this shows again you have sense of direction this shows that you have something prepared that you are building and you're penetrating the future. When you have a plan, you're the fucking man. Women love a man with a plan. Women love men. Men love a man with a plan. Now, the two other things as well, these are very important, right? Now, a lot of guys will label women as gold diggers, right? Because, um, you know, if a woman decides to be with a man who has a lot of money, who's got a house and car, they think that's very, uh, I don't know how do you say it, they think it's very low of women to do that, but at the end of the day, you guys, you have to realize, you've got to accept this sooner or later. Women, okay, go for security. They want to go for safety, right? They want someone who's secure, right? So when you have some sort of material wealth, right, you don't even have to have a lot of money. You don't even have to have a massive house. If you can provide okay so the next one the fourth one is provision right if you can provide to her whether it be emotionally whether it be financially okay mentally okay financially this just shows to her that you are a giver right and women tend to be more of a receiver now when it comes to provision right your ability to have a home for her right to to take her out to take her out on dates right to spoil it doesn't mean give everything you got all you got to her no it doesn't mean give all your finances and security over to her no it means how what is your ability to give to this woman right how can you provide to her whether it be laughter right it could be laughter it could be just wisdom right it could just be right mental stimulation how are you giving to this woman you've got to ask yourself because it's not all about taking right relationships are a give and take right you give her one thing, she gives you another, right? That's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. When you have 
a high provision and when she can see that when she sees you're providing to your community you're providing to your family you're providing to the village she's gonna treat you like a king she's gonna treat you like a master right i guarantee you this this is big d energy this is a powerful masculine trait that she cannot resist when a man has the ability to provide especially when a feminine a truly divine feminine a woman who's in her authentic nature and has is receiving right and is make is being magnetic with her feminine energy she's going to be there and show up and, and receive that and reciprocate what it is that you give to her right you got to realize this what 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 you give to a woman she multiplies right what you give to a woman she multiplies give her a house she'll give you a home give her a food she'll give you a meal give her give her your sperm she'll give you a baby right so your ability to provide ask yourself how are you providing now the last one you guys is pretty big right so the final one is protection how are you protecting her now there is a fine line of being overprotective right and being controlling and then and like just trying and not giving her space to be free and then there's of course the other side where you are genuinely uh interested in her safety right whether that be making sure she gets home um on time not on time but safely right making sure that she's okay making sure that the nervous system is relaxed right making sure that you have the strength and bravery to protect her when shit hits the fan right when things like now in the world right where things are very chaotic there's a lot of things happening right could be a world war three how are you going to protect her how are you going to shield this woman it doesn't mean sacrifice your entire life for her no it means how are you going to make her feel safe how are you going to comfort her when things are getting rough right when things are getting tough when things are getting tough how are you going to reassure her that it's going to be a okay right so you've got to reassure her that you can protect her that you can protect her offspring right this is why women love masculine men right big d energy because they know that their kids in danger they can count on that man right to protect her offspring right? you got to think about this biologically right this, this is a big program that women have right men are the providers and the protectors and women tend to be more of the nurturers right so when things get a bit oh shit how are you going to reassure her that her safety her children's safety her children's safety are going to be good right this could be you know just just reassuring her that it's going to be okay that you've got the plan figured out that you know there is another way and just really uplifting her spirit right you could do things like martial arts go to the gym right even just educating her and informing her right hey love you know i understand that you do things like this but if you do it like this this will help you improve your health your mental well-being and not being overly critical right don't women hate when a guy is overly critical of it just because it shows that you don't accept her for where she's at right so those are the five big p's the big pillars right the big d energy masculine traits that she cannot resist right if you learn something new hit the like button press subscribe to see more videos like this on relationship tips i got leo for mindset tips okay and for more future vlogs okay if you got any questions add us on the socials daniel john allen on snapchat and instagram daniel j allen for funny content okay formative content and guides programs and services check out danieljohnallen.com ladies if you if if you if this resonated with you leave a comment down below fellas again leave a comment down below if this resonated with you and if you want some help to get you big d energy okay to have a beautiful woman okay come for you because i've seen this on my own path right where i've chased women and i thought that you know chasing women was the right thing to do no you've got to embody these masculine figures and they will come they will come 
okay she will be there she'll support you she'll love you she'll care for you as long as you can again embody and integrate these things okay she's going to respect you as a leader and she's going to respect you as a man and you guys will have you know beautiful babies and a beautiful relationship <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Stay woke, blessed, and alkalized. Peace out. Much love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.